You are listening to KVDU with the latest on Tropical Storm Sean, which is expected to impact the Louisiana coast in the next few days. Here is the latest information from the National Weather Service. Tropical Storm Sean is currently located in the center of the Gulf of Mexico after leaving the Yucatan Peninsula earlier this morning. Tropical Storm and Storm Surge watches are in effect across the Gulf Coast from Beaumont, Texas eastward to Pensacola, Florida. The National Hurricane Center has stated that uncertainties remain in the cyclone's exact path due to the lack of steering currents, but are fairly certain that a landfall on the Gulf Coast is plausible. Sean has sustained winds of about 50 miles per hour, down from 70 miles per hour in the previous advisory. Sean will likely make a second landfall as a tropical storm with 60 mile per hour winds, but there is a rising concern that rapid intensification could potentially bring it to a category 1 hurricane or higher. Stay tuned for the latest weather forecast and more information on KVDU. Flash flood watch in effect from Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon. The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a flash flood watch for portions of southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi, including the following parishes, in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, West Feliciana, Iberville, Jefferson, Laforge, Livingston, Orleans, Plaque Means, Quang Coupe, St. Bernard, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John the Baptist, St. Tammany, Tangipahoa, Terrebonne, and Washington. And the following counties in Mississippi, Amite, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Pearl River, Pike, Walsall, and Wilkinson. From Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, Tropical Storm Sean is expected to move north across the Gulf and into the northern Gulf Coast area Monday night into Tuesday. Excessive rainfall is expected with the passage of the system. Sean will bring the potential for heavy rainfall to the area with widespread 8 to 12 inch totals with locally higher amounts expected Monday afternoon through Tuesday. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop to lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. Flash flood watch in effect from Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a flash flood watch for portions of southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Acadia, Allen, Avoyelles, Beauregard. A tropical storm watch remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary. A storm surge watch is in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia and St. Mary. Flash flood watch in effect from Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a flash flood watch for portions of southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Acadia, Allen, Avoyelles, Beauregard, Calcasieu, Cameron, Evangeline, Iberia, Jefferson Davis, Lafayette, Rapids, St. Landry, St. Martin, St. Mary, Vermilion, and Vernon. And the following counties, in Texas, Hardin, Jasper, Jefferson, Newton, Orange, and Tyler. From Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, aerial rainfall amounts of 6 to 10 inches are expected in the watch area through Tuesday, with locally higher amounts possible. Intense rainfall rates may overwhelm local drainage capacity. The flooding of roads, low-lying areas, and areas with poor drainage will be possible. If encountering flooded roadways, remember to turn around, don't drown. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop to lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. 
This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-23 in Morgan City, operating at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Information is provided by the National Weather Service in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and serves portions of south-central and southeastern Louisiana. The warning alarm tone will be activated for warnings and selected watches for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberia, Iberville, Lafourche, St. James, St. Martin, St. Mary, and Terraboni. Tropical storm warning issued for the southeastern Louisiana coast. At 11 p.m. or 3 a.m. UTC, the center of tropical storm Sean was located near latitude 25 degrees north, latitude 89 degrees west. Sean is moving toward the north near 31 miles per hour, or 50 kilometers per hour, and this motion is expected to continue for the next few days. On the forecast track, Sean Center will continue to move north over the northern Gulf of Mexico. Sean will make landfall somewhere along the Louisiana coast late Monday or early Tuesday, and turn northeastward into Mississippi and Alabama by Wednesday. Sean will likely weaken to a tropical depression over central Alabama by Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 50 miles per hour with higher gusts. Gradual strengthening is forecast for the next few days, and Sean... Hurricane watch is in effect and a tropical storm watch has been upgraded to a tropical storm warning for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberville, Lafourche, St. James, and Terraboni. A storm surge watch has been upgraded to a storm surge warning for the following parishes in Louisiana, Lafourche and Terraboni. This is KVC on 104.1 FM. Tropical storm and storm surge warnings are now in effect across the Gulf Coast from Morgan City eastward to Mobile, Alabama. In addition, hurricane watches are also in effect for these areas. Local emergency personnel have already begun mandatory and voluntary evacuations across all coastal and low-lying regions of southeastern Louisiana. Here is the latest information from the National Weather Service. Tropical storm Sean remains just below hurricane status with sustained winds around 70 miles per hour. Confidence has increased with the track of this storm, and Sean is now expected to make landfall somewhere along the southeastern Louisiana coast late Monday night or early Tuesday morning. There is increasing concern that Sean may be a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane when it makes landfall, but uncertainty exists if Sean will ever reach a storm of such caliber. Those who are under a tropical storm warning should finish any preparations before conditions deteriorate starting tomorrow afternoon. Evacuations are in effect for coastal towns and cities along the Louisiana coastline. Sean will likely bring destructive winds and very heavy rain across most of the Gulf Coast. Current rainfall estimates range from 12 to 16 inches in southeastern Louisiana and 4 to 6 inches along southern Alabama in the Florida Panhandle. Hurricane force winds may extend as far north as Biloxi, Mississippi and tropical storm force winds. A mandatory evacuation is in effect for coastal areas of Lafouche, Terraboni, and Plaquemines parishes, at the request of the governor of the state of Louisiana. Mandatory evacuations are now in effect. Areas of concern include all towns and cities south of U.S. Route 90 from Morgan City east to New Orleans. Storm surge from Tropical Storm Sean will begin to affect the Louisiana coast as early as Monday morning. 
All affected residents and businesses are requested to evacuate further inland for your safety. Evacuees are strongly encouraged to evacuate to Lafayette or Baton Rouge as flood waters could potentially spread far inland. Do not hesitate to evacuate. Police will be escorting evacuees along US Route 90 starting at 7 a.m. If you choose not to evacuate then, you may not be able to leave the area until flood waters recede. Continue to monitor local news sources for additional information. KVDU is the local primary station for southeastern Louisiana. Please stay tuned to this station for emergency information. A tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch remain in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberville, Lafourche, St. James, and Terraboni. A storm surge warning remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Lafourche, and Terraboni. Flash flood watch remains in effect until 4 p.m. Tuesday. The flash flood watch continues for portions of southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, West Feliciana, Iberville, Jefferson, Lafourche, Livingston, Orleans, Plaquemines, Quang Coupe, St. Bernard, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John the Baptist, St. Tammany, Tangipahoa, Terraboni, and Washington. And the following counties in Mississippi, Amite, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Pearl River, Pike, Walsall, and Wilkinson. From Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, Hurricane Sean is expected to move north across the Gulf and into the northern Gulf Coast area Monday night into Tuesday. Excessive rainfall is expected. A tropical storm watch has been upgraded to a tropical storm warning for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary. A storm surge watch has been upgraded to a storm surge warning for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia, and St. Mary. Flash flood watch remains in effect until 4 p.m. Tuesday. The flash flood watch continues for portions of southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, West Feliciana, Iberville, Jefferson, Lafourche, Livingston, Orleans, Plaquemines, Quang Coupe, St. Bernard, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John the Baptist, St. Tammany, Tangipahoa, Terraboni, and Washington. And the following counties in Mississippi, Amite, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Pearl River, Pike, Walsall, and Wilkinson. From Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, Hurricane Sean is expected to move north across the Gulf and into the northern Gulf Coast area Monday night into Tuesday. Excessive rainfall is expected with the passage of the system. Sean will bring the potential for heavy rainfall to the area with widespread 10 to 14 inch totals with locally higher amounts expected Monday afternoon through Tuesday. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop to lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. Flash flood watch remains in effect from 2 p.m. this afternoon through 10 a.m. Tuesday. The flash flood watch continues for portions of southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Acadia, Allen, Avoyelles, 
Beauregard, Calcascu, Cameron, Evangeline, Iberia, Jefferson Davis, Lafayette, Rapids, St. Landry, St. Martin, St. Mary, Vermilion, and Vernon. And the following counties, in Texas, Hardin, Jasper, Jefferson, Newton, Orange, and Tyler. From Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, aerial rainfall amounts of 8 to 12 inches are expected in the watch area through Tuesday, with locally higher amounts possible. Intense rainfall rates may overwhelm local drainage capacity. The flooding of roads, low-lying areas, and areas with poor drainage will be possible. If encountering flooded roadways, remember to turn around, don't drown. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop to lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action. Sh A tropical storm warning has been cancelled and a hurricane watch has been upgraded to a hurricane warning for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberville, Lafourche, St. James, and Terraboni. This is KVGU serving the southeastern Louisiana coast. The governor of the state of Louisiana has ordered a mandatory evacuation for all towns and cities south of U.S. Route 90. The outer rain bands of Hurricane Sean are already impacting the Louisiana coast. From the last reports, a buoy off the coast of Grand Isle, Louisiana reported sustained winds to 105 miles per hour. Tropical storm force winds are already occurring in the city of Homa and conditions will deteriorate further tonight. Due to the threat of hurricane force winds, this station will cease transmission within the next hour. Tune to 8.70 a.m. on your radio for further information. We will continue to broadcast as long as we can. Here's the latest information from the National Weather Service. This is KVDU. Hurricane Sean continues to intensify as conditions deteriorate along the Louisiana coast. As of 11 a.m., Sean is now a major hurricane with sustained winds peaking at 115 miles per hour. The center of Hurricane Sean was located above 150 miles south of New Orleans and will likely make landfall south of Homa late tonight or early Tuesday. Hurricane force winds extend up to 50 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward 125 miles from the center. Strengthening is still possible, and Sean could reach Category 4 strength by the time it makes landfall. On the forecast track, Sean will make landfall along the southeastern Louisiana coast and turn toward the northeast on Tuesday. Sean will likely be a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane once it reaches Mobile, Alabama, and this weakening trend will continue as it moves to the north into central Alabama. Sean may be a tropical depression by Thursday and will merge with the frontal system over Middle Tennessee by Friday. The primary hazards from Sean include very heavy rainfall, with amounts in excess of 15 to 20 inches over Louisiana, 12 to 16 inches over southern Alabama in the Florida Panhandle, 6 to 12 inches for inland Alabama, and 2 to 6 inches elsewhere. Flash flood watches are in effect for these areas. Extreme winds associated with the eye wall of Hurricane Sean may cause significant damage over eastern Louisiana from home and north to New Orleans. A risk for tornadoes also exists for the Louisiana coast, and a tornado watch is in effect for the area. Final preparation should be rushed to completion across eastern Louisiana, and interests across the rest of the southeastern United States should continue to monitor the progress of Hurricane Sean. Tropical storm watches and warnings may be extended further inland tonight. The next advisory for Hurricane Sean will be issued around 5 p.m. or sooner. of the governor of the state of Louisiana. 
new mandatory evacuations are now in effect. This includes the following parishes, Iberia, St. Mary, and Vermilion. In addition, coastal areas in Cameron Parish are under a voluntary evacuation. Areas of concern include all towns and cities south of Interstate 10 from Morgan City west to the Vermilion Cameron Parish border. Storm surge from Hurricane Sean will begin to affect the southwestern Louisiana coast in the next few hours. All affected residents and businesses are requested to evacuate further inland immediately. Evacuees are strongly encouraged to evacuate to Beaumont, Texas or Shreveport, Louisiana as flood waters could potentially spread far inland. Lake Charles is not safe for evacuation. Evacuate now as conditions are already beginning to deteriorate. If you choose not to evacuate then, you may not be able to leave the area until flood waters recede. Continue to monitor local news sources for additional information. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 545, effective until midnight Tuesday. This watch includes the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberia, Iberville, La Forge, St. James, St. Martin, St. Mary, and Terraboni. And the following marine locations, coastal waters from Lower Atchafalaya River to Intracoastal City out 20 nautical miles, coastal waters from Port Forcon, Louisiana to Lower Atchafalaya River out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from the southwest pass of the Mississippi River to Port Forcon, Louisiana out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA weather radio, commercial radio, and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Flash Flood Watch remains in effect until 4 p.m. Tuesday. The Flash Flood Watch continues for portions of southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, West Feliciana, Iberville, Jefferson, La Forge, Livingston, Orleans, Plaque Means, Quang Coupe, St. Bernard, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John the Baptist, St. Tammany, Tangipahoa, Terraboni, and Washington. And the following counties in Mississippi, Amite, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Pearl River, Pike, Walsall, and Wilkinson. From Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, Hurricane Sean is expected to move north across the Gulf and into the northern Gulf Coast area Monday night into Tuesday. Excessive rainfall is expected with the passage of the system. Sean will bring the potential for heavy rainfall to the area with widespread 10 to 14 inch totals with locally higher amounts expected Monday afternoon through Tuesday. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop to lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. Flash flood watch remains in effect from 2 p.m. this afternoon through 10 a.m. Tuesday. The flash flood watch continues for portions of southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas, including the following parishes in Louisiana, Acadia, Allen, Avoyelles, Beauregard, Calcasieu, Cameron, Evangeline, Iberia, Jefferson Davis, Lafayette, Rapids, St. Landry, St. Martin, St. Mary, Vermilion, and Vernon. And the following counties in Texas, Hardin, Jasper, Jefferson, Newton, Orange, and Tyler. From Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, aerial rainfall amounts of 8 to 12 inches are expected in the watch area through Tuesday, with locally higher amounts possible. Intense rainfall rates may overwhelm local drainage capacity.
National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern St. Mary Parish, Southeastern St. Martin Parish, until 1.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.03 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located over Avica, or four miles southeast of Morgan City, moving west at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado. Impacts, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roof, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Berwick and Morgan City around 1.10 p.m. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern St. Mary Parish, Southeastern St. Martin Parish, until 1.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.03 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located over Avica, or four miles southeast of Morgan City, moving west at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado. Impacts, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near Berwick and Morgan City around 1.10 p.m. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior... National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Terrebonne Parish, South Central LaForge Parish, until 1.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.06 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles south of Homa, moving north at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated. Impacts. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The tornado will be near home at around 1.10 p.m. Shriver and Sibado around 1.30 p.m. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Tornado Watch number 545 remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberia, Iberville, LaForge, St. James, St. Martin, St. Mary, and Terrebonne. And the following marine locations, coastal waters from Lower Atchafalaya River to Intracoastal City out 20 nautical miles, coastal waters from Port Forcon, Louisiana to Lower Atchafalaya River out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from the southwest pass of the Mississippi River to Port Forcon, Louisiana out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. 
Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, Commercial Radio, and Television Outlets, or Internet Sources for the latest severe weather information. The flash flood warning remains in effect until 4.15 p.m. for Terrebonne, Western Law Force, and Southern Assumption Parishes. At 3.49 p.m., Doppler radar continued to indicate heavy rain across the warm area. Four to six inches of rain have fallen during the past hour. Flash flood emergency for continued life-threatening flash flooding. The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a flash flood warning for Terrebonne Parish, Western Mafuge Parish, Southern Assumption Parish, until 8 o'clock p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.06 p.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated thunderstorms producing very heavy rain across the warm area. Eight inches of rain have fallen in the last hour. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. This is a flash flood emergency for continued life-threatening flash flooding. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Stay where you are unless you are told to evacuate. Travel will be severely impacted. Some locations that will experience flooding include Chauvin, Montegut, Homa, Lockport, Bracelet, Des Alamans, Ashland, Burke, Prescott, Gaines, Matthews, Shriver, Thibodeau, and Gibson. Additional rainfall amounts in excess of 10 inches are possible in the warm area. Stay where you are unless you are told to evacuate. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding on small creeks and streams, country roads, farmland, and other low-lying spots. The tornado warning for Northwest Terrebonne and Southern Assumption Parishes will expire at 4.15 p.m. The tornadic storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears capable of producing a tornado. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, gusty winds and heavy rain are still possible with this storm. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for southwestern Louisiana. The tornado warning for Southern Iberia Parish is canceled. The tornadic storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore the warning has been canceled. However, gusty winds and heavy rain are still possible with this storm. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for southwestern Louisiana. The special marine warning is canceled. The affected areas were Vermilion Bay and coastal waters from Lower Atchafalaya River to Intracoastal City out 20 nautical miles. The thunderstorm has weakened and no longer poses a threat to boaters. Therefore the warning has been cancelled. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for southwestern Louisiana. A tornado warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. for Southern Ascension and Northern St. James Parishes. At 4.01 p.m., a large and extremely dangerous tornado was located 6 miles north of Convent or 5 miles south of Sorrento, moving north at 16 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, damaging tornado. Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a flash flood warning for Iberia Parish, St. Martin Parish, St. Mary Parish, Eastern Vermilion Parish, until 7.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.09 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the warm area. Up to 4 inches of rain have fallen across the area this afternoon with an additional 4 to 6 inches of rain possible through this evening. Areas of flooding are expected to increase this afternoon and evening. Some locations that will experience flooding include Abdel, Franklin, Morgan City, New Iberia, Avery Island, Broussard, Jinret, St. Martinville, Baldwin, and Iraf. 
A flash flood warning means that flooding is imminent or occurring. If you are in the warned area, move to higher ground immediately. Residents living along streams and creeks should take immediate precautions to protect life and property. The severe thunderstorm warning for Western Ascension, Northern Assumption, and Southern Iberville parishes will expire at 7.30 p.m. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore the warning will expire at 7.30 p.m. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for southeastern Louisiana. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Iberville, Lafourche, St. James, and Tarragoni. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary. A storm surge warning remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, Iberia, and St. Mary. A storm surge warning remains in effect for the following parishes in Louisiana, La Forge, and Tarragoni. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a flood warning for the... The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued an extreme wind warning for Tarragoni Parish, La Forge Parish until 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.17 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar and surface observations indicated extreme winds associated with the eye wall of Hurricane Sean were moving on shore over Galac, or 15 miles south of Homa, moving northeast at 8 miles per hour. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Extreme winds will be near Chauvin and Montaigne by 7.20 p.m., Homa by 7.30 p.m., Lockport and Raceland by 8.00 p.m., Death's Alamance by 8.30 p.m. Other locations impacted by extreme winds include Bayou Cane, Ashland, Bourg, Prescott, Gaines, Matthews, and Bayagosh. Take cover now. Treat these imminent extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching and move immediately to the safe room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. The safest place to be during a major landfalling hurricane is in a reinforced interior room away from windows. Get under a table or piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, or pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. off the air. Please tune to another radio broadcast or visit weather.gov on the internet for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to another radio broadcast or visit weather.gov on the internet for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to another radio broadcast or... on the internet for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to another radio broadcast or visit weather.gov on the internet for the latest weather information.
station is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. This station is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. This station is currently experiencing... Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for northeastern Plaque Means, southern Orleans, and western St. Bernard parishes until 8.15 p.m. At 7.37 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Belle Chasse, or 4 miles south of Chalmette, moving north at 13 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Moreau, Poitras, Cary Town, and Violet. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. for the following parishes in Louisiana, Plaque Means, Orleans, and St. Bernard. The severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Livingston, Southeastern St. Helena, and West Central Tangipahoa parishes will expire at 8.15 p.m. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore the warning will expire at 8.15 p.m. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Tuesday for Southeast Louisiana. The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a special marine warning for Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Moripus until 8.30 p.m. At 7.27 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located near Orleans Marina, moving north at 10 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 34 knots. Source, radar indicated. Impacts, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels and oil rigs, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing light jackets. Expect The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a flash flood warning for St. James Parish, Eastern Ascension Parish, St. John the Baptist Parish, Southern Livingston Parish, Southern Tangipahoa Parish, 
southern St. Tammany Parish until 1 o'clock a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday. At 7.46 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Laplace, Lutcher, Gramercy, Donaldsonville, Morpheus, Hammond, and Slidell. Additional rainfall amounts of 3 to 6 inches are possible in the Warren area. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Please report flooding to your local law enforcement agency when you can do so safely. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 1 o'clock a.m. Tuesday for the following parishes in Louisiana, St. James, Ascension, St. John the Baptist, Livingston, Tangipahoa, and St. Tammany. flood emergency for the New Orleans metropolitan area. The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a flash flood warning for St. Charles Parish, Jefferson Parish, Plaquemines Parish, St. Bernard Parish, Orleans Parish, until 3 o'clock a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday. At 7.48 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Warren area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. This is a flash flood emergency for the New Orleans metropolitan area. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Only venture outdoors if you are in a dangerous place. Some locations that will experience flooding include Desterham, Luling, Lafitte, Kenner, Materi, New Orleans, West Wago, Estelle, Chalmette, Moreau, Violet, Poitras, Belchasse, Port Sulphur, and Empire. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 3 o'clock a.m. Tuesday for the following parishes in Louisiana, St. Charles, Jefferson, Plaque Means, St. Bernard, and Orleans. Flash flood emergency continues for the New Orleans metropolitan area. The flash flood warning remains in effect for St. Charles Parish, Jefferson Parish, Plaque Means Parish, St. Bernard Parish, Orleans Parish until 3 o'clock a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday. At 9.06 p.m., Doppler radar indicated continuing bands of thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the area. Water rescues are ongoing and widespread flooding will continue and perhaps worsen at some locations. Historic flooding is expected to continue in the New Orleans metropolitan area through the foreseeable future. This is a flash flood emergency for the New Orleans metropolitan area. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Only venture outdoors if you are in a dangerous place. Some locations that will experience flooding include Desterham, Luling, Lafitte, Kenner, Materi, New Orleans, West Wago, Estelle, Chalmette, Moreau, Violet, Poitras, Belchasse, Port Sulphur, and Empire. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Repeating, a flash flood warning remains in effect until 3 o'clock a.m. Tuesday for the following parishes in Louisiana, St. Charles, Jefferson, Plaque Means, St. Bernard, and Orleans. The National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued a tornado warning for 
Northeastern St. Tammany Parish, Southeastern Washington Parish, West Central Pearl River County in Southern Mississippi. Until 10 o'clock p.m. At 9.36 p.m., a confirmed... National Weather Service in New Orleans has issued an extreme wind warning for Southeastern St. Charles Parish, Jefferson Parish, Orleans Parish, until 1.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time Tuesday. At 9.43 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar and surface observations indicated extreme winds associated with the eye wall of Hurricane Sean, located near Lockport and Raceland, or 10 miles southwest of New Orleans moving northeast at 6 miles per hour. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Extreme winds will be near Desterhin and Luling by 9.45 p.m., Homa by 10.15 p.m., Kenner and New Orleans by 11 p.m., Chalmette and Moreau by midnight. Other locations impacted by extreme winds include Materi, West Waco, Estelle, Violet, Belchasse, and Poitras. Take cover now. Treat these imminent extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching and move immediately to the safe room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. The safest place to be during a major landfalling hurricane is in a reinforced interior room away from windows. Get under a table or piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, or pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. Repeating, an extreme wind warning has been issued until 1 o'clock a.m. for the following parishes in Louisiana, Jefferson, Orleans, and St. Charles.
This station has interrupted regular programming due to an ongoing emergency. Important information will be broadcast on this station as it becomes available. Here's the latest information for the New Orleans Metro. Residents in the area in and around the city need to take shelter immediately for the effects of Hurricane Sean as it moves northeastward into the area. For communities north of Lake Pond Charter, preparation should be near completion as conditions will continue to deteriorate tonight. Flooding as This is KWKH in Shreveport, Louisiana. Here's the latest on Hurricane Sean. Widespread flooding continues across the state. While heavy rains have ended, flooding continues to increase across towns and cities statewide. The governor of Louisiana has been relocated to a safe location. He will be discussing disaster plans with the Federal Emergency Management Agency and will speak to the public in a few hours. Until then.
You are listening to News Radio 740 KTRH, serving the greater Houston area. State of emergency declared in Louisiana as Hurricane Sean barreled through the state. Flash flooding has occurred across much of Louisiana from Shreveport South to Lake Charles East to New Orleans. The city of New Orleans and its surrounding communities remain underwater today as flood waters have yet to recede. Here is the latest on Sean from the National Weather Service. Sean has weakened you a tropical storm over Pensacola, Florida. Widespread flooding has been reported from Shreveport East to Pensacola, with more rain expected across Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Sustained winds have weakened to 60 miles per hour, although they spread over a very large area of around 200 miles from the center, and Sean will likely become a tropical depression by tonight. Rainfall amounts of 2 to 6 inches can be expected over large area from Pensacola to Huntsville, and tropical storm force winds can extend further inland. Here are the latest wind and rain reports from Louisiana and southern Mississippi. An observation station in Homa reported a wind gust of 128 miles per hour before failing. Lake Charles had a wind gust of 76 miles per hour. Baton Rouge reported a wind gust of 87 miles per hour. And Biloxi reported a wind gust to 102 miles per hour. About 5 inches of rain fell in Lake Charles, and 10 inches of rain fell in Biloxi. While no instruments were able to record rainfall in Homa or New Orleans, estimates of nearly 24 to 30 inches may have fallen in these areas. Several tornadoes touched down across southeast Louisiana. One tornado passed near Morgan City causing moderate damage to structures, and another tornado passed east of Baton Rouge. No injuries or deaths were reported from these tornadoes. The next update on this system will be issued at 11 p.m. tonight. This has been News Radio 740, KTRH with the latest on Tropical Storm Sean. Good morning. This is News Radio 740 with new information on Tropical Depression Sean. As of 11 a.m., Tropical Depression Sean was located near Huntsville, Alabama, and is expected to merge with a frontal system sometime tonight. And now, we go to live coverage of areas hardest hit by Sean across Louisiana. Our news reporters managed to land safely in Lake Charles, which was on the weaker side of the storm. We are currently standing in waist-deep water here in Lake Charles. Sean dumped as much as five inches of rain in Lake Charles a few days ago, and the water has yet to recede. While flood orders are clearing, roads are still impassable to most vehicles and power is still out in two-thirds of the city. Lake Charles was on the weaker side of the storm, but its effects were still felt across the area. The Louisiana National Guard are patrolling the streets on inflatable rafts looking for any stranded survivors. Damage has only been sporadic, and coastal communities were successfully evacuated before storm arrived. The mayor has reported that at least 85% of the population in the city have been accounted for. Recovery efforts are clear to begin as soon as waters recede. We now join in on a live broadcast from Baton Rouge from the KWKH News Chopper. Baton Rouge had taken a serious blow from Sean, but it looks far better than what we heard about New Orleans. Electricity is completely out across the city, and sewer systems have been backed up due to flood waters. Skyscrapers across the city suffered only minor damage at most, and National Guardsmen have reported survivors congregating on the rooftops. The Mississippi River has inundated much of the city, and flood waters are still on the rise. The mayor did not order any evacuations, and believes most of the city's inhabitants chose to ride out the storm. No casualties have been reported yet, but this could change as search missions continue. And now we turn to Dallas radio station, WBAP, who has the first look at what was Homa, Louisiana. We are flying over the city of Homa, or whatever is left of it. The entire city is flooded, flood waters reaching the tips of the roofs of homes and spots. Some buildings appear to have been swept in from the coast. Debris is scattered everywhere, and there's no dry land for miles. Any buildings that weren't completely inundated appear to have significant roof damage or partial collapse of outside walls. Most vegetation has been uprooted or snapped. 
We were told that residents of Homa were told to evacuate before the hurricane made landfall, but we're not sure how many people stayed and rode out the storm. The National Guard will be deployed to this area in a few hours. We've looked around for some time, but we have yet to find any survivors if there are any. We're now heading towards the coastal areas south of Homa. Any homes and businesses here were probably swept away from the intense storm surge. Whatever height the surge reached, it definitely devastated the coast. It seems a large ship has run aground off the coast near Homa. It must have been pulled in by the storm surge. I doubt anyone on board is still alive in there. The ship must have been damaged by the storm, there appears to be oil leaking from the ship. We'll let the National Guard know about this. We have breaking news out of New Orleans. Some news outlets across the region are converging on the city at this time. Here's live coverage from one of our sister stations here on KTRH. We are coming up on the city right now. There's water all around. The Mississippi River, T Gulf of Mexico, and surrounding lakes appear to have linked together. Many homes in the suburban neighborhoods are underwater. We see some debris scattered about. There were reports of extreme winds when Sean rolled over the region, and we can see clear indications of wind damage on skyscrapers. Many homes that were not destroyed by floodwaters have severe roof damage. Many trees and power poles across the city have been downed. Many skyscrapers suffered moderate damage to windows and outside walls. Many coastal businesses have been washed out, and many water crossings in and out of the city are impassable to vehicles. The causeway suffered moderate damage and is being shut down for safety. The Twin Span Bridge lost several dozen segments with hundreds misaligned by extensive storm surge. Other small crossings such as those on US Route 11 also suffered severe damage. The water crossing on US 90 was completely washed out. Bridges crossing the Mississippi River have only suffered minor damage, but are impassable due to floodwaters. I have never seen flooding this severe since the levees broke during Hurricane Katrina a good 12 years ago. This is a terrible sight for the residents of New Orleans. The National Guard have launched rescue missions by boat and by helicopter for survivors. It could take months before this city can return to normal operations. This has been a special news bulletin on KTRH.